So what's pad spurring? Pad spurring assists in cleaning the face of your pad of used abrasives. Pad spurring is part of a high quality paint correction process which maximises the ability of your high quality polishes and pads. Pad spurring is basically keeping your pad face clean of old blunt abrasives. Removing those blunt abrasives allows you to efficiently process the new polish. Not spurring your pad allows fresh polish to be mixed with old blunt abrasives and they circulate to make a much less efficient polishing process. Circulating blunt abrasives can result in marring. You should spur your pads immediately after each pass. Most polishes are a water or solvent base. Some are a water in oil emulsion or oil in water emulsion. And diluting polish with water severely degrades most of these high quality polishes. Some side effects can be hologramming or severe swirling, making the whole process very slow, very inefficient, and very costly. Start comfortably and safely by holding your machine in a position where you could spur the face of the pad and have it in a position where you're in the most control. Safety is priority. Switch on your machine at the lowest possible speed. Place the bristles of your pad conditioner in the centre of the pad, apply light pressure and pull the pad conditioner away from the centre. The type of pad sparing solution you should use is the one that achieves the results you prefer. We would recommend, however, you choose a pad spur that is comfortable and easy to use as you should be using it often during paint correction. Final inspection recommend a pad spur with soft bristles that doesn't tear foam easily and a pad spur with a head rotated 90 degrees to the handle is highly recommended. Final inspection offer two pad spurring solutions, both with heads mounted 90 degrees to the handle, one with firm and the other with super soft bristles. I hope this has been helpful. If you're not sure of any of the terms used, simply visit our blog.